In this video, we will be covering the muscles of the thumb. Let's start by orienting our prosection. I have with me here a right hand. This is my radial or lateral side, while this is my ulnar or medial side. I have the fingertips more distally, the wrist more proximally, and what I see here is the anterior or palmar face of the hand, while the posterior or dorsal face of the hand faces the table. Let's begin discussing the muscles of the thumb. There are eight muscles total, some of which are located anteriorly and the remaining are located posteriorly. We will discuss all of these muscles starting at the midline of the hand, working our way laterally around the thumb, eventually to the posterior side. Let's begin with the anterior muscles. If I were to remove the structures in this region, what two deep muscles would I see? I would see adductor pollicis and opponent's pollicis. Adductor pollicis allows for adduction of the thumb, while opponent's pollicis allows for opposition of the thumb. Next, working our way laterally, we see this tendon here. What tendon is this? This is the tendon of flexor pollicis longus. As you may recall, flexor pollicis longus originates in the deep layer of the anterior forearm muscles. When I tug on this tendon here, we see that it allows for flexion of the thumb as the tendon attaches at the distal phalanx of the thumb. Next, we encounter the shorter, thicker muscle, which is flexor pollicis brevis, seen here. And finally, we encounter abductor pollicis brevis, seen here. Abductor pollicis brevis allows for abduction of the thumb, and together with flexor pollicis brevis, makes up the thenar eminence. Which of these anterior muscles is not innervated by the median nerve? Adductor pollicis is not innervated by the median nerve, unlike its anterior counterparts. It instead is innervated by the ulnar nerve. Let's now work our way to the posterior muscles. Here, we can see this tendon, and if we follow it proximally, we see that it originates in the posterior forearm. Which muscle is this? This is the tendon of abductor pollicis longus, allowing for abduction of the thumb. Next, we encounter the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis. If you follow it proximally, you see that it also originates in the posterior forearm, as does its counterpart, extensor pollicis longus, seen here. What nerve innervates these three muscles? These three muscles are innervated by the radial nerve. Let's wrap up by discussing a three-dimensional space called the anatomical snuff box. What two tendons form the border of the anatomical snuff box? Extensor pollicis brevis, seen here, and extensor pollicis longus, seen here, form the borders of the anatomical snuff box. Deep within, we see this structure. What is this structure? This is the radial artery. The scaphoid bone is also located in this three-dimensional space, and when injured or fractured, can lead to pain or tenderness in this region. Thank you.